Can you hear me, folks? Good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, if the clicking can be heard. <laughs> yeah, all men are used to rejection. Okay, boys, a few easy puzzles. And in Drake, you need to shut up because uh, it's too easy for you. Yep, we are all here. I just went outside and my wife told me that a Brisbane woman woke up in the morning to feel something moving in her bed and she found a meter and a half long python. No music, what the fuck? No way. Yep, that's the life of Australia in the tropical areas. And the lady said that she never thought she could move that fast. Yep. Alright, anyone for the made in two? Ready. Vegans, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Vegans, that's uh, yeah, don't even bring up that shit. Yes, this is the puzzle. Spider Curlove, are you kidding me? We have got venomous spiders that potentially can kill children and elderly people in the garage. <laughs> and I'm not kidding you. Like, I find them every time. Yeah, fuck the vegan discussion for him. Eat meat. That's it. Yeah, Zugadict, you are a legend. Every move wins, but I want to made in too. So yeah, I have deadly spiders everywhere. I'll show you what it is. Is anybody from America? Anybody from America? Correct solution. Indeed. So the solution to this problem is that you need to bring the queen here and it places black in a zugzwang. Um, the idea is that if the bishop goes on that diagonal, then the queen comes back and it's checkmate. So for example, bishop here and checkmate because the bishop can no longer interpose. If we go back a little bit... Oh, shit. Actually, sorry. Um, what is it? Uh, continue from here. Yeah? No, I know this is bored. Oh, what a song. So, Queen A2. What the fuck? Why can't I not move? What the fuck? 
Why can't I move? What is this shit? Come on. No, because I can't move the black shit either. Wow. Okay, once again. Okay, let's do this shit again. We're struggling badly. Okay, so king here, uh, king here, queen uh, here, rook here, pawn here, bishop here. Why to play? The fuck is the story? Yeah, I want to set up anyway. So queen, I can't do it. Why can't I do it? Am I not supposed to click? Oh, now I can. Lag. So if the bishop goes that way, then it's queen mate here. If the bishop comes here, it's queen mate here. What makes this work reasonably real nice is that after here, it's still mate here. And if the king comes here, it's still mate here. So yeah, that was uh, it. And uh, give me a second because I want to show you a few more. So now I have got a bit of a help, because as much as I do know quite a few of these by heart, um, I would want to give you some uh, decent pieces of work, but these will be quite hard, which is a bit of a problem, because it will confuse the heck out of many of us. Hmm, actually, wait, just give me a sec more. Um, bear with me. Okay, if you want to, guys, you read a book that is really, really awesome and has got very nice puzzle and nice games in it, then this is the book that I would highly recommend. In fact, this book was the one that inspired me to write my own. It's called uh, Spe Secrets of Spectacular Chess, and now it has actually a second edition which looks different from this. And now I'm going to show you a couple of examples from here. Okay, right away we are going to start with a Made in 4, which sounds very scary, but it will be very awesome. Um, so yeah, this will be a really, really unique puzzle. I think Gary Drake will solve it very fast. So, dude, you need to shut up for a bit to give a chance to the others as well. Okay, so here we go. White to move. It's a made in four. After this I will show you another absolute classic. My lips are still now you will solve it fast. Promote tonight. And then what will you do if I say keep on pushing? Seba GM Rook G2 then make Queen and go mate hmm very elaborate solution so let me check this you are suggesting Rook check King takes make Queen let's move to I come here what do you not what do you do now because no matter what you do, you bring your queen around with the intention of mate, I block off the second rank. And we failed. So this doesn't work. Because there is no mate. So let's go to a new concept. 
No, it doesn't work because of the pawn comes in. In fact, what you need to notice about this puzzle, and that helps you a bit with the solution, is that Black's main plan is to push this pawn down here that will sort of block off the king from any sort of attacks plus allows it to escape with the king that that way Curlab, can you tell me a viewer number please I don't want to open up my stream because it will slow down this shit even more Du hast Du hast mich Du hast. Any more takers? Erin Drake, you can start working on it too. So best er tot at Eidfen, als sei für alle Tage, du hast. Sheba GM. You realize that there is a lady called Sebag. She's a French GM chick. Marie, Marie Shebag. Are you her? Hello, Master Toth. I made him four and it was solved by... Sheb Seba GM, it's bishop. And the idea is that after b3, which is forced, bishop here, b2 forced, bishop here, only legal move is to take the rook, and then bishop here is mate. What do you think, guys? Was it cool? Now Zugadik, the solution is already on the board. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Simple, but good. Now the next one is going to be a very, very famous puzzle. Um, so I will expect that some of you will know it. Um, and if you do so, then probably try to refrain from screaming the solution out right away. In fact, my question to those who are more educated in the world of chess compositions is to tell me who composed it. And in fact, if you know the theme, I will offer you something cool. Alright. Oh, fuck off. Made in two. three questions. Solution, composer and the theme that he tried to represent uh, with his work. What many of you probably don't know about uh, composed chess problems, and I don't mean to say it in a patronizing way, but most people don't know it, is that um, a good composition actually not only tries to give you something difficult to solve, um, but also tries to show you a theme, something that happens in the actual solution. Um, Queen H1 to A1 is not good because I have got a f square here to escape to. Thank you, Arian Drake. You are very kind and considerate. We love you. Queen H8 uh, fails to similar problem that uh, this square is available. Arian Drake, try to think about the motif. Even if you go away 5 to A1, isn't this square available?
it's called Motif. I hate to correct you in front of that many people, but uh, oh, good job, good boy. I love you even more. How would you describe it? You are not actually. Oh, by the way, guys, if you go to my profile, which you should do now, I would like to ask you to go to my profile on Twitch if you are not there already and have a look at this shit. All this was done by Zugadict fan, so I would like to ask you to say a big thank you in my name to him for this beautiful layout. Okay, so we are saying a big fat thank you to the amazing Zugadict fan for designing my page to look the way how it does now. Thank you, Curlab. <laughs> I really appreciated the hard work he put into it. And in fact, not only did he design all these logos, but he actually put them there too because I was too much of a noob. And it's even color coded based on whether it's information or uh, my services. So, Zugeric fan, you are a legend. I should actually say it somewhere, the design by Zugedic, but I don't know how to do it. So I just say thank you. <sighs> this is what you do when you need to reach the chair on the other end so that you can put up your legs like a king. Oh. I had a tennis coaching session yesterday and I can hardly move a muscle. It is called interference, but it has another name, but you are on the right track. Okay, Erin Drecky, you are allowed to say the solution. Yeah. Okay, so Queen A5 is indeed the solution, and um, the idea behind this move is that it places the back pieces uh, in a Zugzwang exactly. So now these guys have to make a move. The king is stuck, can't go anywhere, and all the pawns are stuck too. And basically what happens is that any time we move a piece, it interferes uh, with another line moving piece. So now it allows mate here. If I go here, it allows mate here. If I move the bishop here, same thing mate here. If I move the bishop here, same thing mate here. A very beautiful mate is if I move the bishop here because that allows mate here, which was noticed by many of you at first. If I move the bishop here, that's knight here. And now if we go the other way, we realize that the rooks commit the same mistakes. If the rook moves here, it blocks the bishop off. So now this is made. If the rook comes here, it blocks the bishop off. And then it's not made here. If the rook comes here, it's made. If the rook comes here, it's made again. So this topic, this team is called the organ pipes pioneered by Sam Lloyd and basically the organ pipe refers to the four pieces on the back rank um, this dude, this dude, this dude and this dude and then later on lots of lots of uh, composers implemented this idea into their work um, and uh, operated with these line moving pieces where either the bishops interfered with the rooks or the rooks with the bishop. Beautiful, beautiful work, undoubtedly. Alright, now I'm going to teach you a bit of chess history if you don't mind. Oh shit. With uh, a puzzle. Which many of you will know, Erin Drecky will right away as soon as I set it up. 
and probably a few others as well and I will teach you a bit of history about this. This is an awesome piece of chess history actually. But this song, first please sing the song with me because it's so good. It's best song ever. If you don't know this song, my homework is to learn the lyrics, not that I know them. Sorry, I'm not showing you the position. Fuck. What am I? It is why to play. King c5 is very bad, as is king b7. Here, here. Here, here, draw. So, here. Okay, so what's our next move? Let's make all guys my Yep, check. What do we do now? We will have good check. King C two. Who can tell me best move for black now? It's not the end yet, boys. Rook d4 indeed. And the idea is that if we get a queen, rook c4 check. Here's the queen and the rook. And after queen takes c4, it's a stalemate. And then Railbird is saying that we should get a rook instead. Now the threat is to give mate here. The rook can't give a check. So the only way to stop the mate on a8 is rook a4 and the last move indeed king b3 very good which is a fantastic move it attacks the rook and threatens mate at the same time 
and consequently white wins. Now the history behind this move is that this position, the starting position, was known to chess history for a long long time as a famous draw position because they found it literally centuries ago that uh, in this position this motif saves black and then a Spanish monk started to analyze this endgame in his free time whose name was Saavedra he was a Spanish monk if I'm not mistaken uh, uh, sometime in the late 1800s and he was the one who, who recognized that it's actually win for white if he promotes to rook and so consequently this position entered chess history as the Saavedra position and um, this Spanish monk that we know nothing of no. uh, Rui Lopez lived uh, in the 1500s Um, he became famous forever and we don't even know you know what else the dude did for the sake of chess and yet everybody who knows a little bit about chess compositions and chess puzzles and chess history knows the name of Saavedra just because of this position so guys it's up to you if you discover some fancy shit in chess that no one has ever recognized the opportunity to be famous is still ahead of you that was the famous Saavedra study Yeah, I will tell you an amazing story. I don't know how it will, will come across in the stream, and I should do it when I have more viewers. So I will hold it back. It's one of the funniest shit I've ever seen in chess. Uh, but that is a little bit later. Okay, another made in two. Let's do. Let's do another made in two. By the way. No, promotion to rook instead of queen is fairly standard. Um, I gave a, a puzzle to my mum. She's actually working on it right now, which is slightly chess related. Here is the puzzle. How many squares are there on the chess board? Yeah, well, 64 is the standard answer, but then remember that there are 2 times 2 squares, and 3 times 3 squares, and 4 times 4 squares, and so on. So it's a lot more than 64. Right off. That's uh, homework, so you can work it out and let me know about it later. Now I'm going to show you another mate in two puzzle. And then I will show you a bit of chess history again. Because chess history is good and people are very ignorant about chess history. And they don't read good chess books because they don't give a shit about chess history. And consequently they... No, 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 it's not millions. It's uh, it's a very sensible number. Yeah, that is correct. It's roughly around 200, but I'm not going to tell you the exact answer. Alright. Are you ready for the next Made in 2? Ready? Yeah, 204 is correct. I will show you how to calculate that one day, but I don't really have the ideal board for this. Made in two. Fingers, I gotta take it on the other side. Take it on. Take it on.
Yeah, thank you, Rindrek. He sadly you ruined my fun again. But I'm used to it, so it's all good. Rook b3 allows rook takes here. So that doesn't work. Is it still 30? I want double. No, sorry buddy, I can't play now because I'm streaming to awesome people, I'm streaming awesome stuff. Rook a6, I then... Okay, I will get rid of it, this and that. So if rook a6, then I block it... Here. Queen a3 is illegal. Nope. Alright, so Sebag, who is still a French lady, by the way, just so that you know, Sebag GM, you are named after this lady. That's her. And I actually saw her playing like this. I hope that I won't be banned for this. Um. But yeah, back to chess. Yes, it is queen a6. It's a beautiful solution. And never the disco, I get him mad. He's pumping full of. Right, so the solution is remarkably beautiful, not only because it puts a queen on prey, but it also allows the black, the white, uh, sorry, the black king that currently has got no squares to go to. Yeah, after queen a6. The king is allowed to escape to square. When it happens after the key move, what the fuck has just happened? Ah, we call it a um, flight giving key, which is a feature that makes finding the solution even harder. Because um, yeah, and actually this move is a check because there is a discovery here. So the point is that if the queen goes here after the check, fuck off, go there. Bitch. I have made here. So now the bishop is now covered by the queen, so the rook can't hit it. And this beautiful counter check is a mate. If the rook takes the queen, then after rook takes, I have got nothing to block the check with. And this is a mate too. Okay, if after queen a6, black plays bishop b5. Now that's another very important feature of this puzzle that opens up the C file. So now rook c6 uh, is giving a mate. Go Gerthard is a famous German dude. And that's another beautiful mate where the rook covers the important c4 square that was controlled by the bishop beforehand. And uh, now that's a beautiful mate too. And um, after the key move, um, yeah, black has to do something about the pending threat of uh, rook here, checkmate, blocking uh, the rook out of uh, the fifth rank. I think my, my favorite line in this puzzle is probably um, either the bishop b5, rook c6, one. Or uh, the king c5, rook b2, discover checkmate. Thank you, next, you need more tatsu, whatever your name is. I like you are here because you have never been here before. So welcome to the stream. Uh, by the way, I rarely do this shit, but now I have got a horrific lag. Now, are you ready for something amazing? Amazing. The next puzzle is going to be what you call a uh, mindfuck. I think that's the proper uh, description. What's coming is simply mindfuck. So get ready. Okay, here we go.
winter is coming. <laughs> oh yeah, winter is coming. Fuck Jon Snow. The bitch died without my permission. And I'm lagging like hell again. But it's coming, it's coming boys. It's very difficult to explain to your wife to get the fuck off the computer because you want to stream. <laughs> now this will be... this is one of the biggest mindfuck I've ever seen in my life. A uh, 4000 I think. I'm not even going to open this up to suggestions because it's simply impossible to comprehend what the fuck is going on here with a thorough explanation. So just get ready for the shit that is coming your way and you will be blown away. Yeah, and it's gonna become better. It looks like complete shit. So get ready. Okay, and I will explain to you what's happening here. I will give you 10 seconds to sort of embrace the position and uh, get a feel for it. It's why to move. Okay, so the point of this thing is. I shouldn't do this shit, huh? So, the point of this puzzle is, it, the requirement is why to move and draw, okay? And I'll show you what happens uh, if you do what everyone would do in this position. If you go A1, A8 queen, we go here, yeah? Fuck off. I'm approximately 5 hours behind with lag, but at least you get time to enjoy the position. Now if White really wants to achieve shit with his attack, he will have to go check. And after King d7, we simply run out of checks. Queen d5, I think. King here. Where the fuck is it? Wait a second. Yeah, King here. And now for some reason this check is not good enough, but I can't remember why. Yeah, I know, because after King F8, uh, we run out of checks. And uh, funnily enough, due to the huge material deficit, um, Black is winning. If takes, then Knight takes, and no more checks are available for White. Despite of the two Queens, I can't give a check. Everything gets taken. This queen can only come down here, but that's covered. This queen can good give check here, but that's covered. Check here is covered. Everything else is covered. And uh, knight f6 is already threatening with upcoming mate. And so black wins. Yep. Now, are you ready for the mindfuck? Watch this. The actual solution of the puzzle is that we go a8 bishop. Yep, check. Now why do we go bishop instead of queen? Makes no sense, right? And yet. Yeah. After king here, we give check. Now those who are who have already seen a couple of good puzzles, they see that this indicates that it's gonna be a stalemate. So we go here, check. Check. Oh, sorry. Check. Now if I go back, then check and it's perpetual check. So here, check. Now I must go back. Check. I must take it. If I go back, check comes again and we repeat moves. Yeah? King takes. What do you think what will do now? What is White's move now?
Yes, exactly. So we get another bishop. Now if the king takes, two on, only two legal moves is either to take or to go back, then check. And now regardless of the king moves here or here, it's a stalemate. So the most beautiful line of course is if the king rejects the sacrifice allowing g7 check and now regardless of where the king goes it is stalemate with both bishops incarcerated in the respective corners. If you tell me it's not mindfuck. Ooh! I forgot to cover out h4. Shit! Fuck! Forgot pawn. And g5. Sorry guys, there is a pawn here. There is a black pawn here. Can I move it there? Yeah, there is a black pawn on g5. I fucked up the setup. Yeah, that was epic fail on my half, but you see how the g5 pawn changes the whole shit. It is an unbelievable puzzle, and think about this shit is amazing too. Alright, let's, let's have a look at some interesting shit. Okay, the next one is... An incredibly famous endgame study. No, the knight covers that. No, no way, it was composed entirely. Yeah, don't take a screenshot because I fucked up the. I will set it up again. Because uh, I don't like to be inaccurate, so I will set it up again. It's such a fucked up position, I can't even remember it. Okay, so, sorry. I will set it up again if you want to take record of it. You're not allowed to use it in any of your videos or shit like that, because I want to upload it to YouTube. So this is what I forgot, that pony there. They will not attack. That's it. Yeah, that's the ultimate mindfuck. So now I will play through the solution again and then you can see the whole thing in one piece. Check. Kinky. Check. Fuck off. Check. Kinky. Check. King here. I mean king here. Check. Kinky. Bishop. Bishop. And stalemate. Alright, next. Yeah, it is. It is. The next one is going to be a mind fuck of a different kind. Very, very famous puzzle too. Alright, so this is a white to move and win puzzle composed by the very famous yes. Composed by the very famous Rati. Probably yes he would. Turn off Twitch stream to improve lag. Yeah, can't be bothered, sorry buddy. I already turned it off once. No no. The all-knowing, thank you. <laughs> nice one. Smart pants. Alright, white to move and win. Once again... Um, I will probably talk you through the solution because it's so different from what you would expect from a position like this. Okay? So, basically what you need to realize here is that um, once the king hunts down this pawn the game is an auto draw because the bishop will be able to sacrifice itself for the other pawn 
right away. Okay. If you play a six king here and the pawn is dead. Ah. Oh, thank you. Good call. Just kept it open because I wanted to see the viewership. So now I will take the pawn and then I will sacrifice the bishop for the f pawn and it's a draw. Okay? So the only way to keep it alive, the pawn that is, is if we give a check. Okay? Knight b4 was not bad. The idea with knight, the problem with knight b4 is that after king here, you are forced to push the pawn. And after king b6, you can't defend black from coming here hitting the knight, which then will have to move and then we take the pawn. Okay? So this one doesn't work either. So that leads us to knight d4 check. But then the problem is that the king comes here. And the same shit is gonna threaten um, that um, the bishop will drop back and eventually the king will be able to come closer. Okay? So to give you a scenario, for example, after takes, in fact I can even take the knight because after here I have check followed by going home. And uh, black keeps a safe draw very easily. Okay, so the incredible mindfuck is, if you don't mind me spoiling the farm for you, is that after knight d4 check, king c5, the winning move is this. And now brace yourselves and try to figure out what the fuck was this move all about. So this is last move. Not there, fuck that, here. What the hell is this? I guess the more time you spend with it, the more you realize. Yeah, well, that's it. Well, no, it's actually not avoiding check. It's a uh, Zugzwang. Now, wherever the black bishop goes, it's going to be captured. Exactly. So now black is in Zugzwang. If the bishop goes to either here or here, then knight check wins the bishop here, yeah? If the bishop... Oh, in fact, here too. So the knight is hitting all these squares like that. If the bishop comes here, the knight is going to give a check hitting those two the ultimate domination. So that rules out the bishop entirely. And then there are only king moves left because very cleverly king h1 prevented the pawn from moving forwards too. Now if the king were to move I can not go to any of these squares which means that I can only move away from the pawn. Yeah, rate it was high when he did this. And after moving uh, my king away from the pawn it just simply walks in. King d6 also doesn't work because then this knight fork hits the king and the bishop at the same time. So yeah, I will play this out for you. So king d6 and then that's the last fork. Was good enough for a mindfuck. Yes, that's right. What do you think about this as a mindfuck? More. <laughs> All right, I'm happy to give you more. I am happy to give you more. Okay, let's have a look at a little bit of... Uh, <laughs> I know, I'm only posting mindfuck tonight. That's what a gorgeous dude I am. Fuck it. 
Uh, the next one is not gonna be a mindfuck, but you will like it a lot. Did you realize how I'm simply unable to stream ever without saying uh, words that are not exactly child friendly? How is it possible uh, that I can't actually produce a stream without swearing? And I pride myself on high English. It's a shocker. Okay, here we go. 42, good. <laughs> Fucking with the mind. Good old, why to move and win? Someone donated me a dollar yesterday or the day before. But I couldn't figure out who it was yet, so I couldn't. No, that doesn't work, buddy. Uh, but I couldn't figure out which one of you it was, so I can't display it on the stream. Okay, so if. Yeah, it's wrong because king takes e5. That's right. If you go knight d7, the problem is this check. And the same applies to f8 queen, correctly stated by Renato Ekel. <laughs> 97 and promote tonight. No, that does nothing. Because queen takes f2 check is a very strong threat. e2, king e2, that allows the king to escape here. Knight g4 allows simply queen takes. Knight d7 is a check. No, it's not. You mean after c3, king d7, it is, but then king d6 drops back. So if you were to play um, check, I take. Then check, I go back and I take your knight. Correct, knight e4 is the first move. Excellent move, because it threatens to promote the queen. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Now, queen f3 is forced. What do we do now, folks? The pawn is about to die, and we don't still have a mate threat. What do we do? By the way, is it child friendly if I call my stream next time something like this? Is it is it legit? No, Shebag Mari, Shebag Mari is our hero, guys. He found it. So I fade queen. We need to decoy the queen. And now we need to block off the path back. The point is that if the king takes here, then check your favorite fox. Yep. Yeah, that was I. I was thinking about airy neon. neon. Yeah, I know, but I can't help it. I know it's Seba GM, but whatever. Okay, so the point is that if we take then f4, yeah, that's right, my name says it, and now the mate is inevitable. Who can see the black, black, best defense for black here? There is still a wait, uh, there is still a defending attempt for black. Um, queen takes um, is not good enough because after pawn takes. 
Now queen takes pawn takes and now either the pawn goes in or I will be able to play f4 and then mate. No, my last attempt boys is this. With the intention of giving a check here. Who can see the win now? No, g6 is crap because f4. f4 and then uh, mate can't be stopped. So the question is what's the win after queen b8 and uh, the French female JM answered correctly again. c3 king takes and knight d7. Yet another fork. Okay, more. Why not just f4? Because the whole purpose of queen b8 was that after f4, queen b4, check black even wins. Oh, it's not better really, but um, well, it's better actually because taking the knight with the queen leads to a false mate after f4 and c3, whereas this one uh, only leads to winning the queen, so white still has to work a bit. Queen h8 here. It is, oh, wow! That is a very good question. Sorry, who can tell me the winning move for, this, for white after this? Zugadict, you are a legend. No, mate is not there anymore. Because uh, queen h6 check. Or if f4, then queen h2 check. So, what is the way for white to win now? Which is another beautiful way to use the knight. That's correct, it's um, um, knight g4 which uh, protects the check as well as the pawns so now made threatened and um, black is helpless all right ready Okay, next one. Can someone tell me a viewership number? Please? Yeah. And because of you guys like knights, I will give you another one where the knight is going to do some awesome shit. Just to make sure that the swearing is on. 36. 54. What the fuck? Why not 54? I like that a lot more. Coming for 3 viewers. Boys, how will we get that freaking membership? 69. Erinion, I'm not interested in your sexual fantasies now. It's facts. I have to check it myself, or do I 100% trust Kerr Love? 37 now, because I joined in too, cool. Alright. Why to move? And win. Oh, sorry, I forgot to enlarge it. Yeah, how do I do that, dude? I'm trying.
I'm struggling with promoting my stream, guys, because I don't know how to. You should go and knock on your neighbor's door and tell them that the best shit is on. Yeah, that's called cheating. I'm not interested in that, and you get your ass kicked. Okay, the first question is whether to push this or this or this. One of them is winning, the other one is losing. Title. Uh, what do you mean by title? And how is it important? Teach me, guys. And I will teach you... Yeah, but how is it important? I don't see that. Yeah, F7 is very convincing if you want to lose. Because after F7 I play Queen here. Well, I guess the naked girls would attract the most people. Okay, so it's not like uh, hot naked chicks. I was banking on this one. Yeah, I, I find it very cheap and shitty to be honest because anytime a douchebag tells you that, oh, join me and I will teach you how to be a master, fuck off. They can't guarantee you that because it's your work that needs to be done. I can't make you a master. I can teach you good stuff and then it's up to you whether you decide to work your ass off or not, like everybody else did who became a master. Okay, so F7 uh, is bad because after Queen F4 I'm actually threatening to give you a check. So let's say you play A7, check here and mate. Uh, and for that ready reason, the first move is a7. And here is where the fun begins. What the fuck? Yeah, never mind. Queen a4. Okay, let's do a bit of a change. Should I say epic puzzles? Epic puzzles with I am okay. Uh, amazing. That's very catchy. Let's do that. Amazing puzzles with yeah. I like the sex angle too, but I got yeah told off so many times that I can't play that game anymore. Puzzles to fuck your mind. <laughs> Yeah, okay, whatever. Alright folks, let's 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 drop the commercial bit because um, you will get bored. Let's go to down to business. What's Black's best move? Friday night. <laughs> Calculation practice, that I like that. Beautiful mind fuck puzzles. <laughs> yeah, alright, come on, come on, come on, come on guys. Focus. How can I stop both of the pawns now for black? We don't need to know what Nexi needs when you go to take a leak, it's all good. Actually, Queen C6 loses because after G6, now I have got these threats plus the mate. So, Queen C6 is not good. Close the tab. <laughs> so, what is the move, guys? Come on. For fuck's sake, put yourselves together. 
Normally, people pay for these lessons. Come on, I'm doing it for free. Participate, please. Not quite, because the queen can cover both. Okay, fuck it, I will tell you. Queen a3 stops both this and this. What do we do now? Yes, Zugedict, the king. Okay, so what is white's best now? Shit, 32 viewers. Fuck. Amazing puzzles didn't work. Dizzy. Ah, oh, I will remove the arrows then. Or oh, you should drink less. Knight b4, very good. So now the knight blocks off the way of the queen back to f8. And if I take it, I no longer control that. Refresh it. Yes, it's an interference. That's correct. So now, what's Black's back best Black Black's best move to control both of these pawns? Just refresh it. Um, queen f3, that's correct. So taking the pawn guarantees again that black has control over both promoting squares. Very good. What to do now for white? Very good. What do we do now? How can we use the knight again? Knight d5, very good. You will see why we go... Actually, it doesn't matter, I believe. Um, maybe... Oh, no, no, we can't go to c6 because that gets taken by check. <laughs> yeah, except King Crusher is too much of a pussy to play with me, but let's not even get into that. Um, which is because he knows that he will get trashed. Um, yeah, so knight d5. Now I have to come back here to cover both of these. What do we do now? No, but queen takes c6 was check. So the mate threat sadly is cancelled. Very good, so now we go 97. Again, mate threatened. So I have to cover both. I come back. Now we managed to transfer the knight from. Uh, where the fuck was it when we started? I don't even know where it was. Ah, we managed to transfer it from here. To all the way up here. What's the difference? Black Queen is still holding both pawns. How can we benefit from the improved position of the knight? Hmm? How can we now benefit from the knight's new position, which is a lot more close to the black king? Super bub. You are spot on. Knight g6. I think the title just got refreshed now, so... Airy Neon, try now. And after the check I have to take. Pawn retakes. No hanging, we are beyond that now. Knight g6 takes takes, and now I have got mate, mate and mate. And uh, black is helpless to guard, guard all the three and consequently wins. Please note the very awkward placement of the bishop. Without this bishop this would actually be made. But now instead the black is on the sucking end of the story and gets mated next. Yes, I consider this to be a very nice puzzle to I don't want to use all my best examples in one stream. Not that you don't deserve it, but I want to save some shit for next time too. So I will show you one more of this jazz. In fact, I will show you now a real 
puzzle. And I will have a question, which will be that, um, other than what the winning move is, you need to tell me who played this game. Because it's such a famous puzzle that uh, people should know who played it. No, not today. Because people are having so much fun with this. Okay, so this is an actual chess position from a game. Sorry, Mayor, but probably not today. White to move and win. Who played as white? A real puzzle. Those puzzles that I showed you before are just as good, but a different kind of entertainment. So. Yeah. It is an incredibly beautiful piece of work. Bishop f4, um, appears to be losing to this, yeah? And now we can comfortably resign because after bishop d6 I just play a random king move. And now the queen is hanging, this mate is on and this bishop is hanging. So that's uh, not good. Any other takers? Well, this is the main threat for black to take that and then that and then that and then that. GF, I take back. You have to be careful with that shit. Queen d4, that looks very miserable. Queen takes. Thank you, Curlab. I will stop the stream then just to prevent any more lag. The other curse of my stream is that I always have crazy high numbers when I want to go to bed and call it off. Queen a5, that's semi decent. But I'm not even convinced about the value of this. For two reasons. A. Because I don't see a follow-up if I drop back, but I don't even see a follow-up if he come here. Because checking here, check, and um, here, check, here, check, here, check, check here, and there is no mate here, is there? Check, here, check, that's mate, okay. So we need to go back a bit to prove this one wrong. Hmm. Okay, so I went here, chook, here, chook. That looks rather strong, actually. So maybe I can't take this stupid knight. Quincy 7, uh... Yeah, that's a good call. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, that's it. Good. Good shit. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Yes, that's right. The knight is still hanging very annoyingly and queen swap is on, so... No, nah, not good enough. We need better shit. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry guys, but it's nearly midnight here. In fact, I had to ask for special permission from my beautiful wife for this stream.
Bishop a7, Dafuk is that? Isn't that free to take? Okay, cool, sorry. Alright, we were entertained by the mere idea. Alright, I will show you the first move and you will tell me the rest, okay? Because it still is quite cute after the first move is shown. So this is the first move. What the heck? No, B3 would be terrible because I uh, just take this for free. Okay, so the obvious idea is that the bishop can't take it because queen takes is a beautiful skewer. Yep. And if takes, then what do we do? No, you can't because you get mated, chess prophet. Whatever you suggested, because now this mate is on, so you can't do anything. Okay, so f6, rook e2, what do we do now? Yeah, okay, if take. But what do you do if I take here? Yes, we take the pawn. What happens if we take here? What do we do now? Do we resign? We lost a queen, we are threatened with mate in two. Bishop takes d2. Okay, then I come here. What do we do now? Hey, win win. I'm afraid women you are a bit too late to the party because I will have to call the stream off soon. King C1. Well done. And after this amazing move the king guards both of these pieces and G8 queen is unstoppable. This was the world famous Tal Tolush game. I think or Tal Antoshin it might have been. No, Koblenz, shit. Alrighty, now guys, as a final touch, I'm going to show you a game that I played not long ago. Um, as a part of my simo that I bookmarked. Where the fuck are my bookmark games? How do I see my bookmark games again? Thank you, Renato. I do it because I want you to enjoy it. Now tell me where the fuck I can find my bookmark games. Huh. Here? Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's getting late, guys. It's um, midnight here already. So I'm getting there. Right, okay, so I'm going to show you a game that I won, of course, because I like to blow my own trumpet. And I don't want to show how miserable fuck I am when I'm losing games. Don't look at the screen. Don't look at the screen because it ruins the fun. Is it already up? Still loading, wow. Oh no, it's on. No, no, don't, don't look, don't look, don't look. Okay, alright, so this is a game of mine from a, a um, 
Simul. Uh, it's a Grimfell defense. Main theoretical move here is take followed by an ID5. Very drawish looking symmetrical shit, but uh, Carp of won a lot of games as white with this line. I don't really like it, so I went for this pawn sack where I allow uh, D takes C4. The reputation of this line is not good at all because um, it's very difficult for white to regain the pawn under ideal circumstances and normally white actually doesn't even try to do that, instead he just plays for E4 and uh, try to get shit done in the center. I played Knight E5, obviously hitting the pawn. Yes, it will be uploaded after the stream but because of the music it's likely to be muted. Alright, so 95... In fact I was lost at this game at most parts. So now the bishop is standing quite okay on e6. Because if I've already committed to knight e5, I can't kick it out with knight g5. And uh, knight d7 is incoming. Black complete development is a pawn to the good. Slightly better. No. Well, I could. Now basically what happens is that if I play music now, then as soon as it gets uploaded, Twitch reviews it and if they find music that they think is copyrighted, they just mute it out. Yeah. Right, fuck it. Watch the game. Um, knight d7, so I played the ballsy away. Now I want to put all my pawns up on the 4th and uh, rape them hard on the king side. So it took and I took with the f. Um, now the idea is that I want to use this open f5 to attack along, but he decided to kick my butt with this bishop move, which is, excuse me, very good, because now my queen is hanging and I can't, can't go to any good squares, because if I went here, or here, um, I would lose all my pawns with check, so consequently I have to play the ugly fuck queen d2, which blocks in my bishop. That was another coffin, sorry, another nail in my coffin because I really wanted to put bishop here and then queen here so that then I could swap off the key defender of the king. So, for example, if in this position he had played something like knight d7, I would have played bishop here followed by queen here followed by bishop h6. So he played this game quite well. So, queen d2, knight dropped back. Now the knight is gonna be rerouted here to attack my weak d4 pawn. I immediately remove the queen from the diagonal of the bishop so it's ready to develop and at the same time the queen covers the center. Knight c7, now this bishop is a pest so I kicked it out, not yet. Okay so this was his first nonsense, knight a6 is a really bad move because the knight has got nothing whatsoever to do there. He was dreaming about dropping it in here which is not a bad idea but it takes too long and it's really not uh, something that I couldn't stop if I wanted to. So I kicked the bishop out and now I prevented the knight to come in. It's a bit lame, I don't really like to play moves like this but um, it basically nullified all his main plans so he had to adjust. He played b5 now I think I have a bit of a momentum here and I think I misplayed the game somewhere here because I think white should have enough attack here or composition for the pawn anyway. My original idea was to play um, g4 followed by queen h4 followed by bishop h6 which may or may not be good, I don't know. Um, but then I realized that he might want to play b4 and after takes 9 takes still come in. So I diverted from this plan and played knight e2 here. So now I swap, I take back and then the knight is still perfectly useless and on occasions um, this knight can come in here and then help me to play e6 or d5 or h4, h5, whatever. It, I was rather vague about my plans here, I just tried to put my pieces on sensible squares hoping that he would blunder some shit. I played queen c8, totally senseless, I just played king h2 
or g4 that is even more part of my plan and the queen on c8 is a retarded please because it blocks the connection between the two rooks he played rook b8 that was a good move plan is to take and then penetrate <coughs> rook c1 take take and penetration my wife will come in now watch to the one you can okay no it turns out it was my mum who tells me it's past midnight and I'm too loud and I wake up my daughter so <clears throat> I will speed it up um, I took the pawn and he played c5 so now I regain my pawn but now he's threatening with bishop b5 hitting the rook and the nine knight and that is a massive pain in the ass really uh, it's very difficult to stop so what I did here was that I stopped bishop b5 by playing a4 but it allows the knight now to come in if he wants to however he played f6 now at this point I'm certain that I have got a win but I couldn't figure out how the hell to do it because now his pieces are all over the shop this pin is annoying but other than that my pieces are harmoniously placed and we are materially even I played e6 my idea was that I wanted to maintain my initiative but no, I didn't want to let his bishop out I don't want this bishop to see the sunlight and the other thing I wanted to avoid was to open up the f-file for his passive rook so I thought it was worth a pawn to keep the position closed by means of sacking the pawn and then playing d5 as a side effect it also opened up the bishop diagonal towards c5 not that I want to take it but it could be useful he dropped back and I played bishop c1. At this point I was really really impressed with myself and very happy about all this pawn sack jazz because I didn't see what was coming which was what I blundered was I thought that now after knight c3 I have a very very near winning position but I totally missed that in this position he had this bishop b3 move. It is a very good tactical concept one that players blunder a lot I am guilty of it right now that when your opponent attacks your piece you should always count on them attacking yours it is just as effective as running and I didn't reckon with this at all and in fact it's very embarrassing because after knight takes, bishop takes I've got two pieces hanging so we are up shit creek yes and my rook is trapped so I thought okay fuck it I want to maintain my initiative rather than um, you know, trying to recover material by uh, taking here and after bishop takes rook up covering the knight. So I thought, okay, fuck it, I want to maintain my activity, so I played queens here. Queen here. Now he took the rook, and I took back. I think actually this was by far the best practical choice, because now he still has very dodgy pieces. The rook is technically trapped down here, plus I have got now some attack down there. So I still thought that I was doing okay here. Rook c2 is very annoying again. The rook is doing a lot of nasty pins. Beforehand it was pinning me here. Now it's pinning me here. So I went for check. It was inevitable for him in this position because I'm hitting here as well as there. So um, one was bound to happen. And so he dropped back. And then I took the pawn. Now he went rook e8. And this was the moment where I started to visualize the mate that eventually did happen in the game. I can't guard this pawn anymore. So I had to keep the momentum of the attack up. Because if I play a few shitty moves, he will play f5. Opening up the bishop here, I'm pinned. Um, and yeah, it's just in general shit. The only reason why I'm not entirely dead is because his pieces are still very very passive and out of the game so if you look at it bishop is not participating rook is about to but not really queen is shit knight is shit so it doesn't really have much that goes for his position queen f7 is recommended by women but I don't see what would stop black from taking my knight and winning the game so what I came up here with <laughs> Nah. Um, what happened here is that I played e5 
Once again, you have to keep on playing moves like this in order to maintain the initiative, the, mo the momentum of the position, no matter the cost. One shitty pawn doesn't matter, in fact it opens up my bishop diagonal, so if anything it just helps me to get into the game. Now they can't take here because then I'm forking too, and if he takes me on uh, e5, then I can penetrate with the rook to the seventh. Oh, actually I can't, but that was the idea. Oh no, I know what I was gonna do. Um, if he takes, I play bishop g5, covering my pawn, and then I'm threatening to penetrate. Okay, so again, my pieces are very much alive, and the pawn on e7 is a major pain in the ass. So I decided to keep things closed and play f5, but that was the first mistake. Because now his king is becoming weaker. I took, he took, on e5. Um, which means that now he has got a very active bishop that might threaten to give me checks and annoy me like hell. So I thought that um, I would try to swap it off, especially because after swaps, queen takes. Um, my knight is not on because of queen e5 check would hit back here. I will answer that Zugedict in a second. Um, and when I played bishop f4 I already saw the mate that uh, occurred in the game so I went like please 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 in fact if you watch it was two streams ago uh, I was really celebrating key because I was hoping that he would play check which is by far the most natural move and indeed as soon as he played it I just killed it queen takes d4 check a very unexpected turn it must be captured and after bishop e5 check, he actually... Re oh no, he didn't resign, he played king d5. And after bishop d5 check, uh, he resigned the game because next it's mate, queen here, bishop takes mate. The reason why it made me so happy, because it's a very unusual mate pattern that um, the f8 square is uh, actually controlled uh, by the pawn here. So normally this mate pattern occurs with uh, a black bishop on f8 taking away um, the king square this way and especially that the rook is not participating on the f5 so essentially it's the two bishops that uh, kill the king um, is um, I thought was quite nice so yeah it was a very sad end for him because I reckon uh, he was playing okay it was isolated pun YouTube a Canadian bloke so maybe a chess bra fan. fan. Yeah, I always take the queen. That's my rule of thumb, guys. That's definitely useless piece. You throw it away and you win. So I think, well, good boys, that uh, I will stop the stream here. A, because I'm getting a bit boring by becoming more and more tired and sleepy. And B, because everyone in my family is not sleeping because of my noise. Um, and, um, yeah, I will probably come back tomorrow sometimes or maybe on Saturday although on Saturday I will have two lessons online as well so yeah that's the other problem with my stream that um, we can never know where the fuck the next one will come up whoa 48 very good see it's always like that it's such a big pain in the ass that I always stop my stream when I have the highest number of viewers it's just fucked up I shouldn't be doing it but I just must go I wanted to say something else before I went. Yeah, check out my YouTube in case you didn't. Um, or if you haven't done it yet, I'm planning to upload more shit there soon. And we will continue the mind fucks as well. Um, later on. I have got a few really, really awesome puzzles up my sleeve. Oh yeah, I wanted to answer one question. Zugadik does me why after he's in this check why they didn't play e6 it's because they were retarded okay so that's the answer to that question they should have the only thing I can uh, no I can't even justify that yeah e6 he would have put me on the ropes so that's a fair call and I did know that this game was very shaky in many ways for me so yeah 
it, this was by no means perfect. The only reason I showed you this game was the end of it, and because of I played moves that, even though were not necessarily really powerful, but they were the sort of moves like this one that kept the momentum up, and eventually I managed to uh, make him blunder. Pretty much, that's what it was. Alrighty, folks, thanks all for tuning in. Um, love you all. We'll be back soon. Good night everyone, so please tell your girlfriend that I'm streaming and tell your mom and your grandma and everybody who can increase my viewership uh, so that uh, we can become Twitch partners and then from there on we will rock the world. Rock the world of chess. What an epic song. Alrighty guys, see you later. Thank you very much for tuning in again. I hope you enjoyed the stream.